Hey, it's Ross from RossLukeman.com. Today I wanna to talk to you about a couple of great wire strippers from Klein Tools. We have the Klein Catapult here, and we have the Klein Self-Adjusting Wire Stripper. And uh, I'll just say this video is not sponsored by Klein. I do use their tools and recommend them, but uh, I mainly wanted to show you the style of the Catapult versus the Self-Adjusting Stripper. I also have a Irwin Self-Adjusting Stripper that works great as well, and I uh, use it quite often but I wanted to use essentially the same brand so we can kind of take the brand out of it and uh, just look at the style of strippers. Now they are going to differ and they're going to excel in different areas, but the one thing that these are going to both excel in is speed. These are gonna speed up your installations. If you're gonna be doing a van or RV electrical system or really stripping uh, any job where you need to strip a lot of wires, they're gonna speed up your process. And a lot of us are used to the multi-purpose tool. This is a Klein multi-purpose tool. And a lot of us grew up calling this uh, the wire stripper. If somebody tells you, go get the wire stripper, it would be a uh, multi-purpose multi -purpose electrical tool. And uh, these are okay if you have a few wires to strip, but I noticed myself using this in last week's video and uh, I was kind of struggling <laughs> to strip that one wire and uh, wanted to bring in some of my automated strippers that are going to speed up that process because when I'm doing an entire, I'm actually working on an electrical system right now for a uh, Sprinter 170 extended and there are wires everywhere and I have both of these out and I do not have the electrical multipurpose tool. So when I need to move through a project and I have tons of wire, I'm gonna use these but uh, as I've kind of mentioned, I use both of them for different scenarios. So I wanted to show you where they excel. And then hopefully by the end of the video, you can see uh, whether you like the catapult or you like the self-adjusting, or maybe like me, you decide that you need both of them. Now I should mention the pricing. Uh, this catapult is $30 and the self-adjusting is $20. Now, frankly, I would take the price out of it and just pick the one that you like, because if you have a lot of wires to strip, um, go ahead and get the right tool. I wouldn't necessarily get the, the cheaper tool um, or maybe get the more expensive one and you can get an off brand if you wanna save some money. But uh, in general, I would pick the one that's gonna work for you because there's no point in saving $10 and then taking a lot of extra time or getting a tool that you don't really like. So with that, let's go ahead and zoom in and we'll start off by looking at the catapult and what it can do. All right, so let's start out by looking at the catapult. I'm gonna go ahead and put the model number there at the bottom of the screen. Now with this unit, you basically have just two functions. You have a wire cutter here on the front and you have the stripper blades there. Those are replaceable and uh, very sharp, very precise stripping blades. For the wire cutter, it's honestly a little bit awkward to use. You have to thread the wire through from the back, but uh, you got that cutter there. And uh, I don't use that too much, but I definitely use these blades. Just a very precise cut. And you can really see everything, which you'll notice with the other stripper. It's, uh, it's not out in the open like this. You can't see everything that you're doing. This is very precise <clears throat> and very visible. Now, I do want to point out that um, if you want to, let's say you do a strip and you say, you know what, I need to take that back just a tiny bit, a 32nd of an inch or 16th of an inch, you can come in here and it will slice off just a tiny bit more. You can see that, um, I don't know if you can see that. You can see it'll just uh, slice off just a tiny bit of insulation. And uh, that is actually in contrast to the self-adjusting stripper. If you need to take off just a little bit, it'll actually kind of tear the material You can see it kind of, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of rips the material and just makes a mess of it. Whereas this one is uh, very sharp and can come in and, and take that off. Now, I don't know if this is by the book, but sometimes I have to take the wire gauge down. Let's say I'm going in a very tight connector and maybe my gauge is a little bit too big for the connector that I'm going in. You can actually go down a size with this stripper and it will take off a few strands of wire. It will evenly cut them off from the outside of the, um, 
of the conductors and uh, you can take that down a size or two. Like I said, I don't know if that's by the book, but occasionally I do need to do that and uh, this is very handy for that purpose. So that is the catapult. Uh, overall, it's going to be a little bit more precise. This one's going to be more precise than the self-adjusting stripper. Um, what the self-adjusting stripper loses in precision, it's going to gain in speed. So this one I would say is a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the self-adjusting stripper. That's pretty much the entire demo, the demo on the catapult. Now, this one is going to have a blade. I'll go ahead and put the model number there at the bottom of the screen. It's also going to have a cutting blade here. It's going to have the stripper jaws and then it's going to have actually a stop block which is going to be unique to this particular unit. So we'll go ahead and tighten our stop block there. We'll use our cutter. Cut the end of that wire off. Now the stop block is going to allow you to strip multiple wires to the same depth. So if you need to do, this may come in handy if you're going to do a breaker box and uh, you want to do 50 wires that are going to all go in the same brand of breakers and you need to strip them back, you know, five eighths of an inch or whatever the, the breaker manufacturer tells you, give us five eighths of an inch back there. You can set your stop block to that and just strip all the wires at the same time and uh, move through them very quickly. Now I'm going to show you another trick with the self-adjusting stripper that comes in handy. With this uh, multi-conductor cable, this is a marine duplex cable, so it's got two conductors inside there. You know, in the old days I might take a utility knife and cut this off, but you risk cutting into the inner conductors. You don't want to do that. With the self-adjusting self stripper, you can put that in there and it'll pull that outer jacket off without harming the inner conductor. So that's really, really nice. Um, and then if you want to strip all these back at the same time, it'll do all the conductors at the same time. It kind of tears the insulation, but if you had a two conductor like this or you had three conductor, um, you can put them all in there and strip them at the same time to the same length. So as you can see, um, this is really quick. So if you want to go like this, pull the outer jacket, go like this. So I've stripped off in about seven seconds the outer jacket and strip down my conductors on the inside with the self-adjusting stripper. So this one definitely has it on the speed. Um, now this is, the catapult is also going to add a lot of speed, especially compared to the multi-purpose tool. Um, it's head and shoulders above the multi-purpose tool. Uh, this one's going to be more precise and this one's going to be uh, super speedy, <laughs> I guess would be my, my description of it. So one more thing that I want to show you with the catapult. So this is the end of the conductor. Occasionally, let's say that this conductor is going in a Vanner RV and this is going to your water pump. So the red is going to be positive, the yellow is going to be negative. But with water pumps, you're typically going to have a uh, switch. And what I've done, I actually did this today. This is just the way that I like to do a switch with the self-adjusting stripper, you can come into the middle of the conductor and you can tear that jacket and uh, bring in your utility knife. And what I've done is I will basically Come in here and cut the hot wire. And this is actually where the more precise catapult will excel. Sometimes these wires are too short. This is maybe not a good example because I can get the, the uh, self-adjusting stripper in there. Sometimes I can't get this in there. If these are really, really short, let's say, let's take them back. 
Sometimes you can't get this in there because the head is too big. Like I said, this one excels in precision. The head is a little bit smaller and uh, you can get in there you can get in there and strip those wires. And what I wanted to show you, let's see. So you've broken the hot wire and uh, what we can do, let's say we come in with a completely different conductor. We can run this wire over to the switch. So the hot will run through the yellow to the switch and it'll come back on the red and connect and go on to the pump. So I hope that makes sense, but this is a way that I splice into the middle of the wire and uh, run my, my hot connector or 12 volt positive. Uh, you can even do this with uh, higher voltage lines, but uh, I'll run that over to a switch and come back and continue on to the appliance. And uh, the self-adjusting stripper allows me to break into the insulation there. That would be a lot of work to do with a utility knife. And uh, like I said before, you'd risk cutting into the inner conductors. This is just going to make it uh, fast and uh, safe. So you're not gonna cut into those conductors. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Catapult and the self-adjusting wire strippers. Now, if you're looking to do a power system in your van or RV, I have a great resource that you may be interested in called the Ultimate Van Power Cheat Sheet. It's got a discussion of the three major charging sources that you're gonna find in a van or RV which are solar power, shore power, and alternator power. And it talks about how they all have strengths, but they also have weaknesses. But when you combine all three of them together, it's going to give you a well-rounded power strategy that's gonna make sure that you have a good charge no matter if you're in the desert or plugged in in a campground. No matter where you find yourself out on the road, you're not gonna to have to worry about running out of power with all three charging sources because they're gonna come into play in different scenarios to make sure you have a charge no matter where you go. So there's a discussion of those three charging sources. There's also a discussion of different battery chemistries and the strengths and weaknesses of those. And that's gonna help you narrow in on which battery type is gonna be right for your situation. And then lastly, there is a really cool conceptual diagram. It's gonna show your entire electrical system on one page. And it's gonna show the three charging sources at the top, solar, shore, and alternator power. And it's gonna show the connections through the system and how they come out and charge things like your phone, or run your microwave? What are those connections in between, say your solar panel and your cell phone? And what uh, connections, how does that power flow through your system? So it's a really illuminating conceptual diagram. It also shows how solar power doesn't mess up the alternator power and it doesn't mess up the shore power. How do they all kind of play nice together, come together, charge your batteries and get distributed throughout the rest of your electrical system. So really cool diagram, I think you'll enjoy it. If you wanna get your copy of the Ultimate Van Power Cheat Sheet, all you have to do is click the link below or go to rosslukeman.com slash vanpower. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.